Okay guys, it's Lion Killer here, and today we are going to be building a chicken random number generator oracle thing. <laughs> uh, this is a tutorial, so um, just follow along, pause the video at points that you want to, and enjoy. Okay, so for starters we're going to create a, a line of three. And we're going to add three redstone to that. Now we're going to place a block here, block here, add a torch, torch. Top of that, we're going to put another block and another block. We're going to put a redstone torch on top of that and on top of that. Then we're going to take our normal pistons and place them on top of these torches facing inwards towards each other. Uh, from there, we're going to go down one block here, place a circuit there, and up one block and up one more block. Then on the diagonal from this block, so one and there is going to be a piston, so I'll try and get that on there. And I forgot to mention that it needs to be a sticky piston, not a regular piston. Next we're going to place a block there, block there, and we're going to put a dust on one of them, each of them. We're going to want to cut this redstone signal here, so we're going to place one on top of that, one on top of that, to stop that from getting in. Next we're going to place a block of your choice on top of the piston, let's, let's go for a dark wood, go in that, 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 and we're going to place a small 3x3 three three ring with the center drilled out. Then in the center we're going to place a couple of blocks to build it upwards. Let's go for that. Build upwards and on top of that a half slab. <coughs> now that's the ring made we're going to put a fence gate there, fence gate there and put a pressure plate here and a pressure plate there. Now when these pressure plates are activated we need to push this block up and open this fence gate. The next thing to do is to delete this block here and place a ordinary piston and below that place a sticky piston. Then we're going to take another block um, and we're going to place a block next to the sticky piston and above it like that. And then we're going to put out two blocks, put a torch there, and some here set to two ticks then we're going to place a block up and redstone just in like that set to no ticks then we're going to take a upside down half slab we're going to place it there so it's like that and we're going to move it upwards a regular block, oh, regular block there, and a half slab there. Then we're going to connect it all and place a repeater there. Set to four ticks, and on top of the repeater we want a regular piston, and that should be the mechanism. Next we're going to take a signal from this torch here and move it into this torch here vortex so that it's constantly inverted. Okay what we're going to do now is we're going to take a couple of blocks, build outwards from there and place our pressure plate. I'm just going to move all this in unison and push the chicken upwards. Now you want to take any block you want, I'm going to use glass for demonstration and block the chicken in. Glass around all the blocks that the chicken will be able to escape from. there and there and build on top of that place a block there and over there over there and not on this bit here we're going to build that one more up now we're going to build a little roof here like i said i'm building this out of glass you can build it out of whatever you want and next we're going to do our inputs outputs i'm sorry i meant outputs <laughs> so we're going to take a signal from there, 
move upwards and then we're going to place a block there and on top of the block we're going to put our output whether it be a piston whether it be a redstone lamp we're going to use redstone lamps and go up like that use a redstone lamp and now when the chicken steps on one of these it will activate the piston activate the fence gate and activate the redstone lamp so let's see in action it should be working now gonna spawn in a chicken now when the chicken decides to move one of these lights will come on should probably be noted it's you can add it would maybe look a bit better if you added the there we go and it's in there maybe look a bit better if you added the the redstone signal a bit further out so that you can see the lights working uh, I'll just go do that just now you can add these outputs and inputs whatever you want it's not actually part of the machine the chicken gets moved up and when it decides to move again it will activate one of these lights glitches occur for the chicken falls through that, that will <laughs> it has chosen this light here instead of this light here so the chicken oracle has spoken um, thank you very much I'm Lion Killer and stay tuned for more videos guys Boom.